To access all punch items on the project, first navigate to Field Management and down to Punch Items. From here, we see all punch items that are needed for the total completion of this project. Along the top, we have some grouping and sorting options. And off to the right, we have our filtering options. So maybe I only want to see open punch items. To create a new punch item, select the Create New icon in the top right. Select your status, your type, importance, the due date, location if you've set up locations, and assign this punch item to whoever needs to complete it. And then enter your description along with any added links or uploaded files. Punch items also have the typical conditions lookup. If you've set these up in your project settings, then you can go through and select punch items based on previously selected typical conditions. Let's back out of here and select a punch item that's already existing. Off to the right hand side, you see your quick information about this punch item. And let's go ahead and expand this to the full form. Like other records in Project Site, punch items have a pretty typical format. There's the comments area where you can see the description and any communication. And like field work directives, you can log your comment as a resolution here. Now I see that this punch item is linked to a drawing. If I go to my links panel here, I can see that drawing with a little bit more detail. If I wanted to see exactly where this punch item was dropped on this drawing, I can open this drawing into its full view. After the work is completed and approved here, the status can be changed to closed.